Hey guys, uh, Kyle Fogg and Bushcraft here. Uh, sorry about the one. Today I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, a birch bark sheath for if you have uh, a wooden sheath or even if you have a regular sheath and you just want to um, post it to, you know, put on your belt. Uh, birch bark is a great material to use. Um, uh, first off, you don't want birch bark like this, you don't want it curled in like that. You also don't want it hacked or eaten up or peeling away like this. You don't want it you don't want it hacked up like this. Like this. You don't want it you don't want it at all. What you want is a good thick solid piece. Uh, good good birch bark is almost like it's almost like rubber when you use it. Uh, this might be a piece here. I'm at the second logging area they did. Um, no, this is, see, this is to, this birch bark here is too, uh, too mangled. Too mangled for us to use. So I'm going to keep looking, and, uh, when I get back with something good, I'll show it to you. Uh, a tree like this, nice, solid, freshly down. I took some bark from this one uh, a few a few weeks ago, and it was a little, a little iffy. But there's one back here by this little stream that'll do quite nicely. Right there. Took some off uh, here. And this is nice, so I'm gonna see if I can get a decent camera angle and show you how to uh, remove birch bark. Alright guys, what you want to do here, this is uh, covered in ants. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to take your knife, basically just make a straight cut in the bark. Then after that, you want to take it, and you can probably use like a small log for this, and just give it a good tap. Then what you can do is this is this is a freshly cut tree. You don't want to do this on um, on dead trees or on live trees. No, you want to do this on uh, dead trees, not live trees. What you can proceed to do is kind of use your knife almost as a shim or a uh, bark spud. You just kind of get it up under so you can you know, get your finger in there and try and peel it away. Now, we don't need all of this, so. If I can get all of this off, I'll use it. But... Looks, like... Looks like to here will be good. So... And what you do is you just peel it, and uh, good, good bark. Um, if there's a logging place near you and they log in the spring, perfect time because the uh, all the sap is flowing. But even this is very good. Also, what you can do if you want some extra insurance on the bottom, just give another, another firm tap here, and start to peel this off. Right here, so this could end bad. What we also want to try and do is uh, scrape under the uh, cambium layer, because the cambium layer on birch is kind of, you'll feel it's kind of like a it's like a scrape, almost like a scraping sensation with your knife. It's this this orange layer here turns uh turns pretty orange when it's dead. So just peel that off. There you go. It's a nice piece of birch bark. There's a couple of holes in the middle, but it shouldn't make too much of a difference. And Get all this extra outside junk off if you want, but 
should be good. Bring this back and work on it. Okay, so we've got our bridge back here. We've got a sheath that needs um, to be put together. So first thing you want to do is take your birch bark, find out how wide your sheath is, make a little mark. Then from there, what you want to do is Tear it and cut it all the way down. So you have a strip about as wide as your sheath. Mosquito, sorry. So, take your sheath, put it together. If you're wondering, if you're wondering what the black stuff on it is, pitch glue, that just didn't really work out. Now you figure out. you want it, you wrap it up, and then you bend the top over to create this. So you just take it like this, wrap it on the bottom, pop it in. So now what you want to do is, with your remaining strips, you want to create, there with the remaining strip, you want to create some strips. I'd recommend about from the edge of your finger into your first knuckle. Here's one. And because these don't have to be so thick when you tear them, it pretty much exposes the layers. So what you can do is you can just pop your knife in there. Get them out. I'm running low on film, so I'm just going to do this ahead of time and just keep turning the camera on and off. Okay, so you take your strip, pop, pop it open like that, oh, this isn't the best piece. But basically what you're trying to do is uh, thin them down, get them as easily pliable as possible. Yeah, these aren't the best pieces, but... So then basically what you proceed to do is you take it and you wrap it. I just basically take your strip... This is actually a rule too wide, so I'm going to have to cut this down. So you wrap this as tight as you can get it, and then you can just, you know, fold it. Fold it in. Somewhere. Like that, or you could even tie that off with some spruce root or something. But even that is, I mean, that'd be good enough right there. So then, you just add, add another piece. This one's small enough for two thick pieces like this. This ain't gonna be the prettiest. This is gonna this is gonna work. This is pretty decent bark. What you can also do is you can taper off the end. Do it like that, but here I am. Now this isn't, I mean, I made this really quick because I'm running out of film, but this is, you know, this is, you can put the knife in. There you go. Strap that to your belt. And that's it. And I mean, this is just a rushed version, but that's the basic principle of making one of these. So, I mean, if you launch a sheath, you can make one, and then make a sheath, uh, an outer holding like this for it. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope this helped if you're having trouble with this. And uh, I'll see you in the woods.